Breaking news, General Electric is making its most dr dramatic move yet in the bid to turn around the company's fortunes. GE is planning to spin off its healthcare business and exit its investment in Baker Hughes, instead focusing on power and aviation. The company expected to cut dividends again once GE Healthcare is established. The board of directors have approved this ambitious plan. It comes at the end of an era for the company. Walgreens Boot Alliance will officially replace General Electric in the Dow Jones Industrial Average when trading begins this morning. Joining us right now to talk more about that is Investmark. Advisory Group Principal Michael Lee. Michael, good to see you. Thanks for joining Morning. us. Morning. How are we doing? GE is a very different company today than five years ago. I mean, it's it's yeah, absolutely. Um, ML wanted to get out of all the consumer-facing businesses. They've completely wound down GE Capital. Um, a little bit of a fire sale there. There's still some assets left, but uh, as we were just discussing during the break, a lot of the success came from the balance sheet manipulation that was afforded to them by having this enormous financial company that wasn't regulated like all the other banks. Balance sheet manipulation. Do you agree with that? Uh, no. Well, I, I think they, they had traded on that uh, AAA rating. But what's astonishing? But they had a AAA rating. That's absolutely right. Yeah. And so they could borrow cheap. And when the crisis came and they couldn't do short-term borrowing anymore, boom, what was there? But the amazing thing about GE, that was once held up as a paragon of management. Mm. If you had GE on your resume as an executive, you were golden in any company. Exactly. What happened to the quality of the management? Was this just all a myth? Well, when, when your cash cow disappears and you've got to create something from scratch or kind of figure out a new and where we're going to go forward, um, it, it can be difficult. And um, Jeffrey Immelt's strategy seemed to be lobbying the government. GE spent more money on lobbying than the other corporation. And it it, it just didn't work. Like, you, you know, business and government mixed to a certain point, but that can't be your entire but they, strategy. But they had scores and scores of small companies. They'd sell 100 companies and buy 100 companies during the course of a year. What happened to that? What, what the, put out GE Capital, even before they were big in finance, they were known as a good managed industrial company. What happened? Okay. I would say a lot of those things can be covered up when you have that cash machine of GE Capital. And, and now that that's gone away, and you wonder why did they beat and raise every single quarter with such precision for all those years when you have this enormous financial unit. And a lot of that management was, you know, the GE FMP program where these financial geniuses get, you know, bred and created and spread throughout the company. So um, I, I think what's coming to light is that you know you, you can't just um, you can't just manage numbers you got to run businesses and you got to see what's going to happen what's going to happen tomorrow not not how do we so so GE healthcare will now become its own standalone business but let's face it this company has sold off some of the most successful businesses that were part of GE and, all, and also they've sold high, they sold low and bought high well, and when did they buy energy at the peak right and here is the headline from Forbes going back to 2013 February of 2013, how Comcast stole NBC Universal from General Electric. <laughs> Talking about such, if you look today at what that those entertainment assets would be worth. Oh my God! Yeah. Right, and this was an, a, a deal that was initial that was initiated because of all the problems after the financial crisis, because they were selling all, a, a, again. It's about the timing, and. Can you imagine what that would be worth today to General it's Electric? True. You talked about such selling a, off such the a consumer good point. business. And at the course. time, I think some of the people, at, certainly at CNBC and at NBC when I was there, felt that they, was, they were stealing it, that this was such a hot but property, the, but they the were giving it away. General Electric with Berkshire Hathaway owns numerous companies. Those companies are well managed. GE, why couldn't they have done the same thing? Yeah, I guess it raises the question, do they have the competence to manage these businesses well, that they're spinning Berkshire Hathaway is a little bit different comparison because they don't, Berkshire Hathaway doesn't need to live quarter to quarter and they really have no one to answer to. And I'd say underneath, um, underneath Berkshire Hathaway, there's a lot of little dumpster fires packed into some of these very successful businesses. So, um, with what GE... What venture capital is all about. <laughs> <laughs> well, with, with, with GE, you just, you know, when you're selling off assets, you, you you don't sell what you want, you sell what you can. And what are you going to sure. get the most, amount of, a, most amount of money from and then reinvest and try to fix things? And it just it just hasn't gone that well. And I, I'd say, you know, Jack Welch probably got a little too much credit and Jeff Immelt probably gets a little bit of a hard break. Mm -hmm. But then again, you, you know, it's not like he was there for three years. He took over in 2001 and he just, just well, gave he up the raise. Right on energy, alternative energy. At the top. Yeah. At the top. Right. And here's the headline. Jeff Immelt is not Warren Buffett, even with the most copious amounts of alcohol. No one would ever think that. I, I, I would have to agree with you there. Okay. In, in terms of an, an yeah. investment manager. Yes, yeah. exactly. All right. We'll be watching. Would you buy GE what's left today?
You know, if you're a value player and you have a multi-year time horizon, I got to think something's going to work out. Uh, so $13 you think is an attractive price for yeah. what GE is today? Yeah, you know, I, I would say I'd rather put my, I'd rather uh, put some money into, into like an Apple or a Google um, because those aren't trading at outrageous multiples. But like, you know, at some point GE is going to become a deal. Maybe it's maybe it's 10 bucks, maybe it's 11 bucks, but at a certain point that's going to work out. They are going to have a lot of cash and maybe they can buy back all of their stock after all these. They've assets. been buying back a lot. Of it. Uh, we should point out that the high on GE, 59 and three quarters. Mike, let's get to see you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Michael Lee joining us.